Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song by R5 called Ain't No Way We're Going Home. And we end up capoing this on 6th fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to start out on a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the low E string on the 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to go into an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor we're going to be going to an F, and we'll talk about a really easy way to play that. But if you know the bar F major, you do your 1st finger across the entire 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G string 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the A string 3rd fret, and the pinky on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now if you're just starting out though, you can substitute that, it's called F major 7. And we can play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7. It sounds really groovy happy. And from the F, we're going to be going to a C major chord. First finger stays on the B string 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our chord progression through the song is kind of that G, A minor, F, C, G, A minor, F, C. And at the beginning, actually, it kind of works really well to just do just the downs. And later on, you'll kind of hear where, where you can almost do kind of a big down and then kind of kill the strings with the right hand. F, C, down, kill it. G, down, kill it. A minor, down, kill it. F, down, kill it. C, down, kill it. Now, another way to kind of work it, it would be doing down strokes. And you could kind of do four downs on each chord. And that could be a really cool way to do it, too. C, two, three, four, G, two, three. And I'm kind of doing that with right hand beating, so I'm laying my, my right hand down just a little bit on the saddle to make it kind of sneaky. F, C. Now later on, that idea kind of becomes like a 3 plus 5 idea, actually. It kind of alternates um, in between the verse and the, and the chorus, where you can do G with kind of a 1, 2, 3, and then your A minor with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then your F with a 1, 2, 3, and then your C with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So G, 2, 3, A minor. F, 1, 2, 3, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, G, 1, 2, 3, A minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F, 1, 2, 3, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now for myself, a lot of times to support my voice though, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. pattern actually is to just do a down down up on each chord. So you'd have G with a down, down up, A minor down, down up, F down, down up, C down, down up, G down, down up, A minor down, down up, F down, down up, C down, down up. Now something else that can be cool to add to that too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, you, you can throw in a, a bass note for the chord. So on the G you'd have the low E for your bass. On the A minor you'd have the A for the bass. F bar, you have the low E for the bass. On the F major 7, you have the D for the bass. And on the C, you have the A string for the bass. So you could add basses to that too and have G with the low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up F with the bass, down up C with an A bass, down up G with the low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up F with the bass, down up C with an A bass, down up. Now, another way you could kind of work it through the tune is to do the down, down up of the down, down up, up, down up on the first chord, and then the up, down up on the second chord. So you could do G with a down, down, up, A minor, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, C, up, down, G, down, down, up, A minor, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, C, up, down, up. And you can throw in basses for that too. And have G with a bass, down, up, A minor, up, down, up, F with a bass, down, up, C, up, down, G with a low bass, down, up, A minor, up, down, F bass, down, up, C, up, down, up. And there are parts of the song actually where it sounds really cool to do kind of the down, down on the first chord and then the up, up, down up on the second chord. So you have G with a down, down, A 
fire on the up, up, down, F on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, fire on the up, up, down, F on the down, up, down, C on the up, up, down, up. Or you could add basses to that. I'd have you the bass, down, A minor on the up, up, down, F with the bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G with the lowly bass, down, A minor on the up. play along with R5, instead of starting on a G major chord, they're actually starting on a C sharp major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 6th fret, then now your G is really a C sharp minor, your A minor is really a D sharp minor, your F is really a B major chord, and your C is really an F sharp major chord. But you could just work it with just those downs kind of for that intro. It could be a cool way to kind of work it is just kind of working the downs. And later on, like we talked about, you may want to kind of work with that as kind of a, kind of a down kill it kind of idea. So G, down kill it, A minor, down kill it, F, down kill it, C, down kill it. Or you could work the downs and have G, two, three, four, A minor, F, C, G, A minor. Come through. Ain't no way we're going home by R5. So good luck.